In uh, Toronto, things are active as far as uh, what's going on to Queen's Park is concerned. The uh, provincial legislature, we spoke with Alan Carter from Global News and host of the Alan Carter Show on AM640 in Toronto. Now my good friend and colleague Alex Pearson, whose program airs on AM640 in Toronto, 900 CHML in Hamilton and AM980 in London, who's also at Queen's Park. Alex, thanks. And what are you seeing? Oh, I'm not at Queen's Park. I'm at the intersection now of Bloor and Avenue, the, one of the biggest intersections in the city. And it is not active. It is a massive party. I mean, massive. I've never actually seen anything like this. And I've covered an awful lot of protests. And I walked down to Queen's Park. I walked all along the university. And this thing is massive, Roy. Massive. It goes in all directions. It goes as far as the eye can see, they are partying in the streets, they're playing volleyball. Uh, it is a pretty massive crowd, and it's a very diverse crowd. And people are generally, what, having a good time? There's no antagonism, there's no anger, there's no confrontation no. going on? There's a massive mosh pit in front of I'm in a truck right now with Steve, who let me into his truck so I could do this, because it's so loud down here, and it's in front of a massive mosh pit is, that is... Uh, built itself in all between the trucks, and they are just partying to Twisted Sister right now. It's amazing. There's a lot of children here. There are Canadian flags all over the place. I've seen, you know, one Trump flag. Okay. No one's losing their mind. It's a really jovial crowd, and it's a really diverse crowd. It's like I've seen mothers and fathers with their kids, and um, as long as it stays like this, I think they've made their point, and it'll probably move on, but it's going to stay around for a few more hours at least. Alex, what is it that what do you think draws people together in this kind of uh, in these kinds of numbers with this kind of attitude? Why is this happening today? Oh, this has been building, Roy. I don't need to tell you what you hear from the listeners, what you get in your email box. This anger has been building for a long time. The big takeaway for me, because I wanted to see on the ground for myself what is going on here, and the big thing I'm learning. I've talked to truck drivers. I've talked to uh, hospitality workers who lost their job. I've, I've talked to people who uh, are vaccinated, are not vaccinated. But they're mad. They're angry. They're angry at two years of shutdowns. They're furious at government uh, failure being heaped upon the people of this country. They're angry at, you know, what's happened to our children with schools. They're angry about what happened to our elderly. What they're angry about is the politicians failing to do their job. And, and the other thing is, there's a lot of anger at the prime minister because of his divisive language. And, you know, I think a lot of people wondering, I've been wondering, you know, at what point he's going to stand up and be, you know, more statesman and try to bring people together. Because I don't see this going away from everyone I've talked to. They're planning to continue doing this. And I only see this thing grow. If it's anything like it is today, where you've got a party atmosphere, people having fun, there's a lot of uh, pride in the country. Uh, they're united in anger, whether their anger is about mandates or vaccines or shut down, whatever it is, they're united and they'll just keep coming out. Yeah, it. Uh, I had a conversation with a friend the other day and uh, we came to the conclusion we're at that point. Remember that movie Network where the anchor yeah. stands up and he says, I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it yeah. anymore? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think there's there's a lot of anger at the media, no question about it. People feel like only one side of the story is getting out. All I can tell you is there may be bad apples, uh, you know, around, but from what I have seen, everyone here just wants to be heard. And they're coming together and they're finding commonality and common ground uh, with other people from completely different backgrounds. I mean, I've literally talked to every age, every different kind of ethnicity, I do not see any, I've not seen any flags of uh, Nazi signs, anything like that. All right. um, and it goes on as far as the eye can see. I don't know how they're going to clear this out because the entire intersection is blocked off by all the trucks. Now, what truckers I have talked to all plan on leaving, but the crowds are so massive, I don't know how they're going to get out. If you want to hear more, subscribe to The Roy Green Show on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you find your favorites. And if you like what you hear, leave us a review and tell a friend. I'm Roy Green. Have a great weekend.